One of the near universal marks of someone with a spirit of slavery is their poor use of time. You can drive through any ghetto in the world at 9 o'clock on Tuesday, working hour, and see a lot of people just sitting around doing nothing because they feel they have no opportunity, they feel there's nothing they can do, they don't understand that time itself is one of the most precious, valuable resources. Therefore, in moving somebody from slavery to sonship, in building that bridge incrementally, one of the very early things you need to do is to put pressure on them of deadlines, a measurable deadline, and a deadline that ideally has self-inflicting consequences. God modeled this exquisitely in Numbers chapter 10, beginning in verse 11, where he says that in the 20th day of the first month of the second year, the cloud arose and it was time for Israel to march. Now you have to put that in context. They came out of Egypt, spent the entire first year living how they wanted to live. There was this self formed community that just sprawled over the desert. And on the first day of the first month of the second year, God intervened and said, now we do a census, and immediately after that, we form up my way with a tabernacle in the middle and the tribes living in this particular way. There was a massive reorganization of the community involuntarily, abruptly, immediately, and now 20 days later, 20 days later, God says it's time to march. People that had not marched for a year, people that were not accustomed entirely to the new neighborhood where they were living, people who had never marched in that particular sequence, had to pack up, get ready to roll, and I imagine there was a massive amount of chaos that day as a lot of people weren't ready to pack, a lot of people were still struggling trying to uh, figure out how they were going to pack when the rest of the clans were already moving out. You have to wonder how many people were left behind and they came straggling over the desert hours later catching up at night. And God did not relent. God did not accommodate the corporate schedule to the weaknesses of the weakest member. He did in other areas, but not in the area of adherence to time. God forced the consequences of their own choices on them, meaning when he was ready to move, he moved, and those that had not thought through the ramifications of how they were going to pack, how they were going to carry, how they were going to move their dunnage, they suffered the consequences. It was a self-inflicted consequence of their failure to manage time well. 20 days. And I think God very intentionally moved quickly, sooner rather than later, because part of the reason for reorganizing the groups was to break up the codependent relationships. They had formed around codependent relationships to a large degree. They lived with the people that would create the mutual admiration society. The society was formed around convenience, not around any other reason. And when God restructured them and positioned them where he wanted, how he wanted, you may not necessarily have lived next to your prime enabler. You might be stuck between two highly efficient people without a spirit of slavery who had very little motivation to be an enabler for you. So before the new codependent relationships could form, God got them marching, got them moving, got them experiencing the consequences of their own incompetence. I do this very early on with new employees. I will create some sort of a context where the implications to them are fairly negative if they cannot manage their affairs and get something done on time. So use this as a tool for your emerging sons. Use it as an indicator to demonstrate to them the deficits in their own handling of time. And if at all possible, 
make the consequences self-activating, self-inflicting, meaning if you don't get this done in time, you won't be able to take advantage of this opportunity over here. Managing time, setting deadlines, measurable, verifiable accomplishment of this by this time, powerful tool for exposing to a slave his problem and for forcing a slave to step up to a higher level of competence.